Let's take a closer look at the grading and feedback features available in the topics in Flipgrid. So here I am inside of one of my grids and I'm going to go ahead and add a new topic. Now I've gone ahead and added the topic essentials, including the title, the prompt, set the recording time to two minutes in this particular case, and decided whether I was going to turn on or off video moderation, as well as added focus media to serve as a visual to support students in responding to the topic prompt. Now, instead of clicking create topic, I want to explore the feedback features that I can add to this particular topic. So I'm gonna click more options. And I do have several other options that I can adjust or customize, but I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom to take a closer look at feedback. Flipgrid by default incorporates basic feedback for student responses on videos. That basic feedback is a very basic rubric that includes the criteria, ideas, and performance. Notice that I could leave basic feedback set and simply click create the topic or underneath basic feedback, I have the option to add custom feedback. When I select custom feedback, I have the opportunity as the teacher to generate new criteria to develop my own formative grading rubric. I simply come over here to the right and click add criteria to get started. Notice that you're required to enter certain information. So I've gone ahead and created a short title for this specific criteria. In this case, we'll go with content knowledge and I'm required to enter a description to describe the criteria to the student. Now, remember that the criteria description is essential to your students so that they have an understanding of what it is they're going to be assessed on or how they're going to be assessed. So in this case, for content knowledge, I have been very specific in my criteria description asking for specific examples from readings and class notes to support student responses. I'm also required to set a minimum and maximum score. Notice that my score can fall in a range anywhere from zero to 100. If I wanted to, I could make this a single point rubric by leaving it set at zero for a minimum and one as a maximum. As this is meant to be a formative rubric, I could consider creating a four point rubric. So setting the minimum at one, maximum of four, in order to represent beginning, approaching, proficient, exemplary. And once I have filled in this information, I could simply click create. Once I've gone ahead and added a few new criteria in order to generate a new formative rubric, I can simply make sure that the criteria I want to include are selected and I can simply click create topic. Now when I'm reviewing student responses to the topic, let's just pause, I can see that grading rubric includes the criteria that I have constructed in order to form this formative rubric. Let's just go back to the grid. Now keep in mind that I can always edit a rubric inside an existing topic. So all I have to do is open a topic and click on the pencil icon to edit the topic, scroll down to the very bottom. I can see this particular topic is using the basic feedback rubric of ideas and performance. Notice that this time, if I click custom feedback, I will see that I have the option of the two criteria that I've previously created, or I can add additional criteria. One thing I would highly recommend is consider involving your students in the co-creation of criteria for the rubric. Your students will have a better understanding of what you are looking for and what they will be assessed on in the particular topic. 